What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shawnee, and welcome back to the Women's Palace. So today we're going to be talking about the strength in unity. So God has actually been leading me to read about the Israelites and really just get into what happened, how the journey went, how everything went down with Pharaoh. So um, we're actually going to be in the book of Exodus 1, 8 to about 11, and we're just going to get into giving you a different perspective on how the enemy views and how he put us through division because he knows the strength in our unity, in the body of Christ's unity. So we're going to be reading out of the King James Version, and it reads, Exodus 1 and 8. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. And fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. Therefore they did set out. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. Okay, and we're gonna skip down to 14. And it says, And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field. All their service all their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. Okay, so let's break this down and we're actually going to go to another scripture but let me break this down a little bit on how god revealed it to me he was saying this is like pharaoh is like the enemy children of god children of israel is god's people the body of christ right now when he, it says now they rose up a new king over egypt which knew not joseph joseph was when you spoke of joseph you knew god that was god's god worked through him right so in a sense when it says the king rose up and knew not joseph he knew not god that's what god revealed to me the king that rose up did not know god he did not know joseph and he said unto his people he said unto his demonic entities this is how i want you to be able to put in your mind on what's taking place the enemy said unto his minions it's too many of the children of israel it's too many of god's people we, it, and they're more than us. So guess what? We have to be wise about this. How are we going to go? Because we don't need, there is too many of them. We can't let them multiply. We can't allow it to come to pass where they can be able to come together and, and be able to declare war on us and join with our enemy, join with God, because the devil is the enemy of God, right? So we can't allow the children of Israel to be able to become wise and team up with God to defeat us. So guess what? We need to get them up out of our land. We need to put we need to put division between them. We need to put them in affliction so they can be so worried about the affliction that they can be so worried about the division that they don't even understand. All they have to do is join forces in unity and destroy us and live in the land that God gave them. See, God had to make me realize my original plan for you guys was for you to have dominion. And go back to Genesis. Let's make mankind an art image and let them have dominion over the fish in the sea and over the wild animals and over the world. God gave us this land to rule, but yet the enemy is ruling over it. Why? Because he, he was wise enough to be able to understand that there is power in unity. And if I can get these kids, if I can get the body of Christ so caught up on a division, so caught up on the affliction, they won't even realize that they lose them by default. They So let's go ahead and go to 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. And it says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. God had to make me realize I am pleading with you. One can cast out a thousand, two can cast out ten thousand. Imagine if the world, the body of Christ, came together to defeat the enemy. This will be our land. This will be our turf. 
but we can't get people out of their mind we can't get people out of the world they think oh it's the vision i have a problem with you because of worldly things god had to make me realize most of the stuff that we are divided about does not matter but yet it's the reason why we don't possess the land it's the reason why we don't possess the promised land the land that's falling with milk and honey that god created for us to have we got hyenas in our land. We got the devil ruling over our land because we allowing him to be able to be united in his kingdom. God says the house divided cannot stand. The devil is hateful and all his minions is hateful. God had to make me realize they don't like each other. You got to think about it. When a person is full of hate, how can they love? Devil don't love them people. The devil don't love them people that's on his side. But guess what? He knows God's words. He knows God's principles. He knows that a house divided cannot stand. So I'm not going to even like you. But guess what? I'm going to be in unity with you because I know the power in unity. I know the strength in unity. I know that if we're not divided, I mean, I know if we're not united, we're going to be divided and we're going to fall. So guess what? I may hate you, but guess what? We're going to be united. But the body of Christ can't seem to get that. It cannot settle into the body of Christ's mind that we need to be united, not divided. And the world wants us to be divided because it's ran by evil. It's ran by Pharaohs. It's ran by the devil. And God had to make me realize, Shanice, all history repeats itself. And this is why he's really got me on Israel, is the Israelites, because we are the Israelites. And now some of us is the Joshua generation that's going to rise up and take the promised land. And then it's some that's going to be still in the wilderness, walking around the same circle, can't figure it out because they so they still have bondages over their mind. They're so they're so in the world. God had to make me realize she needs to get out of this world. Because it's ran by evil. And the evil wants you to be able to... They putting out things to keep us divided. Oh, this and that and this. And I should hate you and you should hate me. Baby, put all that stuff to the side and unite with your brother and sister in Christ. And understand that you guys all have something in common. You have one enemy. And that is the devil and his minions. That person is not your enemy. I I actually gonna put this um, picture. It's probably gonna be somewhere, somewhere right here. That um, people think people are their enemy, not realizing people are being used, manipulated like a, like a. Um, you're gonna see the picture. This is exactly how it is, and people think that person, not realizing it's the mastermind of it all, is the devil. He want to get you so caught up on the person and hate the person and be divided against that person, not realizing if you would, if you and that person was to join together, you can take down him and his minions. And this can be your land again. This can be our land again. It's power in unity. You got to understand when God says two or three are joined together, there I am in the mix. God is like, come on. I want the body of Christ. The body of Christ is divided and it cannot stand. And that's why God's children are losing. Not because God is weak, but because the vessel was ignorant. The vessel is weak. The vessel don't understand that God's word, how his power is. The vessel don't understand that a house divided cannot stand. The body of Christ cannot stand. The body of Christ cannot function because the people are so divided off things that the enemy is putting on them so he can continue to rule in the land that God has given you. That God has given us. God is making me realize, Shanice, there is power in unity. If the devil knows this, how come you don't know this? How come my children, this is all go back to my children are destroyed because of their lack of knowledge. The devil is ruling over you. God had to make me realize the devil don't, the devil has ability. Us children of God has the power and authority. We give too much energy. We give too much power to the enemy. We give away our power, not realizing who is on our side. God had to make me realize this is basically, he put in my mind like a scenario of how the devil be able to look at this world. Hey, hold on. It's too many of them. Come on, let's, let's, let's be wisely with this so they don't get the knowledge. They don't be able to get the knowledge and understand that they can beat us, that they can be able to team up with my enemy, which is God. And be able to destroy us completely. Like wipe us out. So we got to be able to beat them. Let's go ahead and make them ignorant. Let's dumb them down. Let's take over this land. This needs to be our land. This is where God says this is his high. It's hyenas in your land. I got the promised land. But guess what? It's people in it. It's the devil in it. 
because he thought you were stupid. But what what are you going to be? You're going to be the Joshua generation where you're going to unite. You're going to put away all that petty stuff. You're going to put away all that worldly stuff because that stuff don't matter. That stuff don't matter. God has to make me realize she needs to get out of the world because the world is ran by evil. The world is Satan's turf right now. Why? Because my people have given him, uh, given it up. My people have let go of their dominion. My people have let go of their power. Because they so focused on the affliction. They so focused on the division that they don't even realize all they have to do is unite with the brothers and sisters. Get on one accord with your brothers and sisters and understand. Team up with me and understand the, the mission I gave you on this earth. I gave you power to rule over this world. You have the dominion. But you got to be able to understand. This is where God says you need the knowledge. You need to be able to understand what's, for one, you need to understand what's taking place. For two, you need to understand who you, whose you are. Whose you are, baby. Like, that's what he has to make me. You are a child of the most high God. I, this is where God says, I am the king of kings. Who, who is the kings? Us, queens and kings. But yet we are settling below our inheritance because we're letting the evil we're letting the devil we're letting pharaohs take over our land because we don't have the knowledge that there's power in unity your brother and sister in christ is not your enemy the devil is but see he he he's the mastermind this is where i always go back to the devil throws his hand and then he look away he hides his hand that wasn't me but he want to blame it on your sister and your brother in Christ. So you can get so caught up on a division. You can get so caught up. I can't hang with them or I can't be with them and not realize if you and that person was to join forces together, you can take down, knock down 10,000 of, of the darkness. We are not made to be in the darkness, but so many people are in the darkness because they know not nothing else. You think about when before Jesus came, the whole world was black. And a lot of people don't understand that they are it's just it's just mind-blowing devil is deceiving people and god this is where god is just teaching me be sober minded she needs be vigilant be wise especially in this season especially in this season because we are living in the end times and it's only getting worse and you need to understand that if you want to be joshua generation if you want to rise up and be able to get what what is your birthright god had to make me realize some people are fighting and doing all hating other people for a birthright that's theirs but they don't understand you settle in to be a slave when God called you to be a king. He have called you to be a queen and you up here being a slave because you don't want to be able to put your emotions to the side. You don't want to be able to understand what the knowledge is. What God is calling you to do is to be united. Get out of the world. Get out of, oh, she did this or he did this. Baby, them people ain't did nothing to you. You need to know who the mastermind of who it is to manipulate you, who of who it is to put division between you. The devil knows a house divided cannot stand. So if he can get you to get so caught up on a division that you won't even realize more power in y'all being together than it is being y'all being apart. Be wise. Understand that there is power in unity. Understand. Go read 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Go read Exodus. God has really been on me about reading about the Israelites because he's like Shanice understand what's going on in this season like understand why i took them the long way understand what's going on in this world because history repeats itself people oh that's the old testament baby if god put it in the bible it has a purpose now it may not be the same exact thing that went on but this is where god is calling you to lose your use your mind what is this symbolic god how are you trying to how are you trying to apply this to my life plug and fit it in no it ain't be exactly your situation no it's not going to be exactly what happened back in these days but guess what it has some significance for it to be in the bible history repeats itself this stuff is going on pharaohs is all out and through the land hyenas all out and through the land spiritually people it's principalities that's over this region taking over this region got people's mind bound people's mind bound and not you don't have to understand that all it can take is about four or five people body of christ coming together and being able to take over a region and save the whole region save the whole state save the whole america you got to be able to be wise what is taking place in this season it is power and unity stop being divided stop oh then stop worried about petty stuff that's what the devil wants you he wants you to be worried about something so little compared to something so big you know what? I, you feel me? It's all about living and learning. 
don't get so caught up on what somebody did to you because nine times out of ten that person ain't did it to you it was the enemy that did it to you that used that person because sometimes some people's mind can be so bound the enemy has full control over people people are demon possessed God had to make me realize you read out and through this book of how Jesus was casting out devils. Jesus was casting out kids. You don't think this is taking place in today's land? You don't think this is taking place in today's world, 2022? Come on now. People are demon possessed. Is it their fault? No, because they're, they, a lot of people don't even know. You think about in there, they, I don't know what's going on. This person would just, you know, going in fire, doing this. The enemy is using them of demons in people and you up one of that person got more to be worried about you need to be praying for them people because it ain't got nothing to do with you that's what god had to make me realize she needs some some stuff ain't even got nothing to do with you some people are fighting demons and the demons are taking control of their life and get you oh i can't deal with them pray for that person cast out demons god have to tell me i'm calling y'all to cast out demons y'all have power and authority i said y'all have the authority to trample over these people but yet y'all being played by these people y'all are being manipulated by these people because y'all don't know what the word is saying there's power in unity understand this stop getting so caught up on a division that you don't realize you you are better together than you are apart okay I would highly suggest that y'all go read the book of Exodus, read 1 Corinthians 1 and 10, and just get in God's presence and allow, allow God to preach to your heart. Allow God to reveal to your heart what it is that's going on in this land and what's going on in the world, okay? So as I always say, go out and be a light in this dark world and always understand that you guys are better together than you are apart. There's power in unity.